Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to give you the video progress number two uh, on the seminar. This is all still from the same day and if I accidentally don't upload the other video it's because I gotta like go clip it so I apologize. So everything is still pretty much the same here. Um, I have maxed out death ward. I've got one point in these so max embalming, max death ward, max resurgence. I ended up maxing blood skeletons mainly because of this new guy we're gonna show you, Veil King. Uh, Nighthawks is still max, and then I just have a few points in Iron Golem and Abyssal Knight. Now, for our reward here, I have put one point in Talon's Hold. Uh, I don't really know why, it just felt like I should put one point into it. I mean, it slows them and gives a chance to reanimate, I think, right? Uh, and then mainly, th the build is, as of now, based around this guy called the Veil King, uh, which is this big dude right here. So some highlights of what Veil King does is number one, he splits your army in half, which means you, I mean, you, it's kind of a toss up, right? Like Veil King is basically like your main minion at that point. Uh, you can only summon half crows, half skellies, and half knight, but um, he does have a chance of reanimating minions, and the minions are pretty nuts. And I've had like 15 plus minions before. He slows targets. He has a chance to cast play grasp on attack. I don't really know what that means. He also casts Crucify on attack, which I don't really know what that means either. What just hit me? What? Okay, well, anyway, let's keep going. Um, so some of the other things about Veil King is Death Pact gives him 16% life per base level. We only have one point in Death Pact. That's a thing that we don't really need right now. I've only had him die one time, and he died instantly to the boss guarding this area not ancient sway but one like the one before that there's like a mini boss i have no clue like what happened um we also have blood skeletons give him grim vision aura i'm guessing that by leveling the blood skeletons the grim vision aura scales up as well that's part of the reason why i max the skeletons the other reason is because they give him um if you look here improved aura effect per base level so they give him uh, a chance to i believe it is uh, crushing blow on hit and I think oh wait did, did grim vision aura is that did, does he have grim vision aura? it's kind of complicated to see sometimes it's a little confusing um, then we have the night hawks which gives six percent total damage per hawk uh, I think one of my minions is getting a little upset uh, then we have the abyss knight which reduces damage Automatic daily restart in two hours. No problem. We have the Abyss Knights, which reduce damage taken. So basically, if you notice your guy is dying from like quick consecutive hits, I'm sure you can put more points in the the Abyss Knights. And then the Iron Golem gives them some life regen synergy. But so far, I don't really see any need to like go more. Uh, my gear has been changed a bit. I'm using Fodzin's Vicious Visage, sorry, uh, because it gives quite a bit of defense. Uh, bumped ourselves to 44k defense right now. Feels pretty good using um, a Zod rune in our gloves right here. I have a Fate Weave. I'm, I'm using a, I don't know what, what rune it's called inside there, but it basically gives minion attack rating. I'm not sure if it's really needed. Uh, I have a top spin hat, but it's not really very good. It's just something I found. I haven't really you know, done too much with the gear yet. Using a plus one amulet here. Um, I'd recommend for you guys to go majority in strength. I did put points in a vit, but vit scaling is pretty shit compared to like flat life scaling. So if I could, I'd remove all the points in vit and distribute between strength and dex, which I will use a belladonna extract later and reset the character. Um, and the other thing is you use Bane, which is like basically a curse. You use it on your minion and it PB AOEs, and that's pretty much everything you're going to be seeing. So with that being said, let's go fight Ball for the first time in Nightmare. We're going to go down here. Okay. Might need to go grab some more potions, though. Uh-oh.
I don't really know how the Veil King works with his, like, attacks. He seems to have pretty good area clear. I have no clue, like, how it works. I don't know if he has... I don't know if it's the Crucify that does it. I don't know if that 10% chance to proc feels like a lot more than 10%, or if he just has natural splash on his attacks. But when monsters are grouped in, like, a hallway, they just get decimated. And it's not just from the bird explosion, I know, because I've, like, played around with the birds for, like, quite a bit. Oh, that looks like Vol Cyclone. I want that. It's also nice because it's really easy to target your Bane since your uh, Veil Knight is so large, it's pretty hard to miss him. Okay. Let's see how this goes here. I'm just gonna blink AoE. What the fuck is that's one ma oh that's a trap, I think. I see. Can we see like what he does exactly? Well he's actually not even hitting. Uh let me see. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> just he just walks and things fall over, man. <laughs> that's the veil knight for you. Uh, I had my Veil King die once, and supposedly he gets pissed off and turns on you. I didn't even see him. I don't know if, because like when my Veil King died, I ran away and then respawned my Veil King. And I think my Veil King one shot the other Veil King, but I'm gonna be honest, I, I really don't know. I just know that I almost died, and I don't even know it was hitting me. feel like getting more HP potions. Why did I just do that? Why did I just throw a beautiful potion on the floor? Did you see that? It like went from full HP to like 2% and now it's not taking any damage. Veil King's damage is inconsistently consistent. That's that's pretty much what I gotta say so far. <laughs> it's inconsistently consistent. <laughs> I want to see your own minion kill you, Baldi, your job. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Veil King versus the real king, boys. Who's going to win? Blink. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Look at that slow target. You can actually tell. I think you can tell that slow target's on him. Uh, oh, okay, this is not a good spot to be right now. I think Velking's having trouble like hitting this guy though, because he's like he's like kiting him. Yeah, he's definitely getting kited. Oh, uh, Velking's dying. Uh, I'm dying. Chat, chat, ch no, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna just go get some more health potions real fast. Uh, I don't know what I just did, but I think I just came back. No, no, no. I didn't get my potions. Let me go to town, please. Okay, click one time. Alright, good. He's getting shotgunned by Balls AoE. Ah, good old shotgunning. Unlucky shotgun. I think this is usually this is usually where there's like a little bit of a halt on, on character progression, right? Is at the sky. That means if I'm able to kill him without, like, much, much problem, that's, like, pretty insane. That, that black shit does, like, a ton of damage from what I remember as well. One, two, three. I also don't think it matters if you have skeletons up for bosses, because I don't think Crushing Blow does anything uh, on bosses, right? Because it's percentage damage. And they nerfed it, I think. Not not a hundred percent sure. I definitely think you can see that fifty percent slow though. 
Vilking's regen's OP. Yeah, I can actually scale it more if I put more points into my golem as well. Hmm, he's losing some health there. So is the golem. Oh, nope, he just healed it back. <laughs> Velking's not going down, dude. He's not going down, boys. We did lose our golem, though. To be fair, I don't think the golem really does... Uh-oh. No! To town. Okay, does he regen in town? Veil King. Let me, uh... Let me, like... Can I put a bow on the floor and animate my iron golem from the bow? Okay, he doesn't want to be from there. Oh, no problem. Veil King's, like, full health already. Do you sell a weapon? You do. Cool, give me this for one gold. Hey, guess what? Got a golem. Let's go back. Definitely need like way more speed on this guy though. The big that's my big concern for fighting like a lot of endgame guys is if this guy can't like move really fast and hit really fast. I'm not sure how he's gonna do in the later on stuff, but to be fair, I haven't really looked at anything, so it's too early to really tell. Hey, there we go. Nice. I'm pretty sure that's that's where like a halt in progression starts is at him. Twin C's. That's this one, right? Yep, that's that one. So disenchant these, put this in, get another shard, combine shard in with the twin C's. Oh baby. Nice. There we go. So we are now into hell, and I'll have another progress video for you guys probably at the end of tomorrow, maybe sometime in between in the middle. Anyway, though, I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know what you guys are playing on this Median Excel expansion. And if you think there's anything fun and cool, let me know, and I might try it out, because I think I'm going to try maybe two characters this season. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, hope you guys... I think I just said that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to catch you guys all later. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.